All right, everyone, so heading into part two of Bassmaster for tonight, we have picked the big mouth lure for the hat. What I'd like to do is try to figure out where can we add this thing that you'd be able to actively see it well. Like, I don't even know where I could put it right now, where it would stand out. Maybe right between these two might be the best spot because it actually has a red face, and it would probably stick out if I if I kind of jam it in here. Let's see. Um, let's see what I can really do here. Let me swap hands. Let's see. Well, I fucked that up, but it kind of stuck. <laughs> I was going to stick it in, and then it got completely jammed, but it's it's kind of working. Um, I just want it to be more secure than this, because right now it's not secure. That one hooked. Come on. You know what it is, is that that strip doesn't have a hole in it, does it? Oh, hold on. Gotta be careful not to hurt myself. I'm a gamer, I do need my digits. Okay, come on. Go in there. Oh, I think I got it. Nice, I got it. Done. Good lord, look at that. <laughs> look at that monstrosity of a hat. Right? Yikes, that's crazy. Now I gotta put it on and wear it. Okay. Delightful. <laughs> look at this thing. Oh my god, that's insane. Okay, so... I will leave the other lures here as backups. If we do happen to hit $200 of tips tonight, you'll get a second lure added to the hat. I'm certainly not expecting or asking for that. I'm just saying it is a uh, an option, okay? Do I like the neck strap on the hat? The only thing I like about the neck strap is I know that the hat's facing forward because the neck strap is perfectly near where my ears are. If I didn't have this, I might not know if it, the hat was, like, straight. So it helps for that. But outside of that, meh. Okay, um... Thank you, guys. Let's head back here. Let's head into our second hour of fishing fun. Hello, Goodyear Blimp. How are you? Reminder, even though this is our next to last and next week will be our last Bassmaster stream, uh, this hat will now stay in the rotation to be worn if we hit the hat goal on any other stream. So you'll be able to see a silly fishing hat with all this stuff in it uh, and other playthroughs. Ooh! Is it a bigger or small fish? I could not tell. At first it looked big, but I think it might be the small one that actually grabbed it. <clears throat> okay. All right, so guys, we're back to normalty, normalcy. If you have questions to ask me, please tag me in the stream chat, okay? Yeah, I lost the fish. This sucks. Oh, yeah, I, I hear you, No Sleep Real Vibes. He says, uh... He basically says, I can't wait for you to play more Street Fighter 6 in the future. Me too. <laughs> Me too. I cannot wait. Um, shit. I love the beta. I'm absolutely looking forward to more of that uh, in the future. Shit, I almost screwed up. Uh, there we go. Yes! Do I think Sasha Baron Cohen being cast as Mephisto was a good choice? I have no idea. I didn't even hear that. I don't know what movie that's going to be in, so I'm not going to comment on it. I don't really have favorite horror movies, Derek. I have favorite genres. Like, I definitely like the Friday the 13th or Nightmare on Elm Street slasher-style movies from the 80s. Um, I like some of the Japanese-style horror movies from the 2000s. Um, you know, Baba Duke was one of my favorite more recent movies that I like. I haven't really seen a horror movie recently that I like that much. Even the ones, like, I saw um, uh, Hereditary. I wasn't scared once once in the movie. I nothing in that movie scared me whatsoever. I thought the movie was stupid. Um I saw Quiet Place, that didn't scare me at all. I was like zero, zero, nothing scary there. Does anyone have any recommendations of horror movies recently that are good that maybe I should check out? Because I haven't really seen anything good recently. Jade, no, I did not go on a run today. It would have been nice to, but I did not get a chance.
Are horror movies that are based on a true story scare you? No, because it's it's bullshit. <laughs> you realize that, right? Ninety nine percent of the time when they say based on a true story, um, it's n complete nonsense. It's like, oh, the true story is that someone was standing in the corner and farted. That was the truth of the story. Everything else is fake. Based on a true story. Oh, okay. Right. Oh, let's see here. Uh, Dark Maga says, I would recommend a movie called Funny Games. It's not a scary movie, more of a creepy movie. Funny Games. Okay, what is it? What, uh, <clears throat> what kind of a movie is it? Where would, I, where would I be able to get it? Would I be able to get that on a streaming service? Funny Games? Did I like Halloween H2O? Admittedly, I don't even remember it. I can't, I couldn't answer that. I don't remember it at all. Did I ever think about getting another pet? At this point, no. As we've spoken of, Jasper is the kind of pet that he demands all the attention in the house. So if we were to get, like, a second cat, we know basically it would make him be upset and he would misbehave and act out, which we don't want. Um, we would like to get another pet. The problem is, like, a lot of the smaller pets that would be easy to do wouldn't be compatible with a cat. Can't get mice or rodents or, or, or hamsters. You know, the cat's going to go after them. Can't get fish. The cat's going to go after them. Can't get birds. The cat's going to go after them. You know? Like, everything that we would want to do, like, damn, that's not good for a cat. That's not good for a cat. So... We just really haven't even thought about it. <clears throat> I have seen the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre a million years ago. I remember thinking it was very scary and at the same time very weird. Of course I've seen Bram Stoker's Dracula. Everyone saw that back in the day. Everyone saw that movie. Derek, the Japanese-style horror movies that stand out to me are The Ring, The Grudge, and Dark Water. Those are the three that stay in my head. Human Centipede. I know what Human Centipede is. I really have no desire to see it. Knowing exactly what it is, I really don't want to see it. It just sounds so fucking stupid and disgusting. Terrifier is a good for a horror movie. I heard that Terrifier 2 just came out. And some people are saying it's such a gross movie, gore-wise, that they walked out of the theaters or won't stop, won't finish watching the movie because they're so grossed out. I don't know if that's just hype. You know, sometimes they make shit up like that to make you think the movie's like, like... Something special, it's really not. So, I don't know. Okay. Have I seen the Predator movies or the, or the new Prey movie? Uh, I saw Predator 1, Predator 2. I saw the first Alien vs. Predator movie, hated it. I may have seen the second Alien vs. Predator movie and still hated it. And... I think I saw that other one, the one with the guy, the white guy, who everyone said was out of place in an action movie, and he was basically the replacement for Arnold in the original Predator movie. Like, I saw that one. Was, it, was, it, was that just called Predators? I don't remember. <clears throat> but I think I saw that one, too. Um, oh, shit. I fucked up. I pulled it too fast. Damn it. Screwing up. No. But, uh... That's the last one I saw. No, I did not see the Prey movie. I have not seen it. Have I seen the Insidious movies as Plum Girl? I have seen um, Insidious 1. That's the one that has the red and black monster dude who's scary, like jump scare crawling on the ceiling and shit, right? That's that, I, genuinely the first time I saw that creature. It did scare me. But funny enough, I was more scared of it in the house than when he goes to the demon world. I feel like when they go to the demon world, it's not scary. Because I don't think the demon world looks real. It looks like a movie studio. But when you're in a house, and all of a sudden you look out of the corner of your eye and you're seeing a demon up in the corner peeking around, that's genuinely fucking scary in my opinion. Because it makes you think that maybe any time out of the corner of your eye, if you're not looking directly, you can see some crazy shit, right? Like right now, if I look at the... Ah! Okay, it's just my face. Um. Anyway, oh shit. Anyway, um... I have not seen... I'm trying to think. Like, I, the second one... I, I think I saw Insidious 2, but I can't remember it. Wasn't Insidious 2 that the father gets possessed by the woman in black or whatever? Like, the, there's an old woman, and she possesses him or something? I think I saw it and hated it, if I remember correctly. Like, I thought it was really shit. I wasn't scared at all. But I haven't seen it in a long time either, so... I saw Midsommar. <sighs> <laughs> I saw Midsommar. Again, these modern horror movies to me aren't even horror movies. Like, I'm watching it and I'm like, when does the horror come in? And then 
It's like, okay, so there's a bunch of weird cultists. They do weird things. When does the horror come in? And at the end of the movie, they're like, oh, look, here's some people getting fucked up. Okay, I'm like, where does the horror come in? And then finally at the very end, they're like, okay, so look at this weird thing. I'm like, okay, horror. You understand horror. For horror to work, something needs to be scary. And when the whole movie is just the people are weird and different, you know what I mean? And maybe even controlling or whatever and protective. But like, like seriously, like almost nothing in that movie w I thought was even scary. Then at the end, you know, there's like a, a twist, twist ending, which I'm not going to spoil for anyone. But I don't know. The movie just... Modern, uh, seriously, modern horror almost never scares me. The one movie that I remember scared me was Baba Duke, and the reason that one scared me is because it was completely not what I expected. I thought it was going to be a ghost or something, and at the end of the movie, you're wondering, what was it? And when you actually look it up online and it's explained, you're like, wait a minute, that makes complete fucking sense and is more scary now that I understand what the movie was about than when I actually watched the movie. And then there was, by the way, Barely Legal gifted a membership. Congratulations to Wiley Coyote, who just got it. Um, what was the other one that I saw? It, it Follows. That one genuinely scared me because the, the monster can be or look like anyone and can literally come from any corner around anywhere and just c completely be right in your face and ready to kill you. And that's fucking terrifying, in my opinion. So that movie scared me. Dark Maggot says, I prefer more creepy movies and, 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 than traditional horror movies. You mean like psychological horror? I have never seen a Pumpkinhead movie, so I can't comment on it. I don't know. Someone just said what I think about Pumpkinhead. Never seen one. Have you ever seen Poltergeist? I have seen Poltergeist. Um, I think it's a pretty good movie. I think for the time, especially when it was made in the 80s, I think that those are some groundbreaking, not only ideas in a movie, but, but you know, the effects and everything. I think they did an insanely good job, and that's why people found it so scary at the time. But yeah, that movie was plagued with tragedy. Derek says, uh, Heather O'Rourke died at the age of 12. A lot of TV commercials at a very young age really said, yeah, she died. Like, I think like three or four people involved with the production of Poltergeist died. And everyone says it's like the cursed movie because of that or something. <clears throat> Shit. I fucked up. Am I scared of the exorcism face? No. I have not seen the, any of the versions of The Hills Have Eyes ever. Because someone just said they saw the remake in theaters and was terrified. Yes. I've never seen any of The Hills Have Eyes movies. A large mouth. A large mouth bass. Hitchcock movies I love. I love the Hitchcock stuff. Vertigo. Um, the Birds. Uh, Rear Window, all the Hitchcock movies and the Hitchcock shows, like he does Hitchcock Presents. Oh, I love that stuff. That's good stuff. Not horror, though. That's more suspense thriller. It's not really horror. Um, Jade says, I say it 2017, the movie I was so scared. Which one did you see, Jade, in 2017? Which movie? Um, do I like The Exorcist? Nah. The Exorcist was way before my time. Like, when it was popular, it was like, what was it, the 70s? And, I mean, people still knew about it in the 80s, but in the 80s, it was all about Friday the 13th or Nightmare on Elm Street. So those are the ones I knew about. I never really knew about The Exorcist until much later. So it doesn't really scare me. What happened? Stop reeling it in for a second there. Have I seen Get Out by Jordan Peele? Yes. The original Jordan Peele movie, Get Out, I saw. I did not see Us, and I did not see the latest one, which I can't even remember the name of it. I didn't see the last two. I saw his first movie. I thought his first movie was good. Genuinely thought it was good. It's You know what's weird? Because so, You know what some people say about the Jordan Peele movies? Oh, like it's only for African Americans. I don't believe that at all. Like, yes, he's writing to be from the perspective of an African American in a cultural position. But if you understand the cultural position, then you can enjoy the movie. I think some people are so closed-minded. You know what I'm saying? They're like, oh, well, I'm not, I'm not African American, so I can't enjoy a Jordan Peele movie. Why? Why can't you put yourself into the shoes of someone else in another life situation than you and still enjoy the movie? That blows my mind that people can't do that because people say shit like that online and I'm like, why does it matter that he, he makes certain cast choices and certain plot choices? I mean, let's be honest here. There's a, there's a spot for that. Absolutely, there's been a giant gaping hole in movies for this kind of serious tone of movie. You know what I mean? Like, I can't... Like, seriously, what was the last... Uh, movie from that cultural perspective that was a horror movie. Candyman, maybe? Candyman 1? Um, or maybe, um, seriously, I mean, like, Tales from the Hood. Remember that movie? 
Like, it's rare when you get one. And I think he's really found a hot spot in movie making, and he is nailing it. You know, because people, everyone's saying all his movies are great. I've only seen the first one, and I really liked it. So I don't, I don't know about the next two, but people say that they're all good. <clears throat> Tales from the Hood was great. I think Tales from the Hood was a great movie. I thought it was scary and funny. I thought it was a great movie at the time when it came out. Could you blimp to the Super Jesus? Can you make balloon animals as a tip skull? No. But thank you for the Super Chat. Uh, will I try anything new next week? No, it's too late for that. Seriously. Oh, we're going to retire the game. Let's now try tournament mode. Why? Why not just enjoy what we like? Why start doing new things now? Right? <clears throat> Stephen King movies? Oh, God. You know, you know Stephen King movies. And here's the thing with Stephen King. He's such a prolific creator, right? He's such a prolific creator that... There's no possible way that everything he does could be good. How could he? He's written so many books and so many stories and made so many movies. You know that half of them will suck. Like, if you're a realist, you know. And they do. Oh, they do. Like, you know, you could take a look at A Dead Cemetery or um, The Shining. Or, you know, you could look at, like, five of his stories that are like, oh, my God, these are absolutely outstanding movies, right? And then you look at fucking, like, Dreamcatcher... Or what was the other one that was so bad? Um, the Langoliers television miniseries and shit. You start watching some of those, you're like, what the fuck is going on with this shit? Like, what? The kid, you, you would watch the two and you'd be like, I can't believe it's the same writer. Because one is like ingenious with super scary shit and other stuff is terrible garbage. And like, it's a schlock, you know? Um... But anyway, yeah, like, I, I do like certain Stephen King movies. I absolutely do, and others I don't like. I think everyone's kind of the same. You could be the biggest fan of, of Stephen King and still not like half of his stuff, and that's fine, because he's made so much it doesn't matter. Uh, Pet Cemetery, Yes, Pet Cemetery. I actually really like that movie. It's scary to me. Um, do you have a favorite, uh, a favorite... Oh, did I see Dr. Sleep? No, I did not. That was supposed to be the sequel to... Um... The Shining, right? I have not seen Dr. Sleep. I would like to see it. Derek, I really don't want to know about that. <laughs> Tell me about this girl actor had two cardiac arrests from se from septic blockage. I really don't need to know about that. That's disturbing. <laughs> Sorry, Derek. Uh, Lord Prince Albert did a super chat. He said, would you consider buying one of your fishing pole controllers for Bassmaster? I think it would be interactive and cool. Uh, I don't see the point. I don't think it's going to add anything. Actually, I don't even know if they sell them these days. But thank you for the super chat. All right, black crappie. There you go. <clears throat> thank you, Lord Prince Albert. Hello, Sogo. How are you tonight? Overpowered Boone, I don't know. He says, what's the last time a movie made me legit scared? Like I said... The last few movies that, that actually scared me were probably like It Follows or Baba Duke. Um, I'm really stretching to try to think of another modern movie recently that, that scared me. Like I said, Hereditary did not scare me at all. Midsommar did not scare me at all. Um, so, I don't know. I have to think like like probably those last... I don't remember when those came out though. Those movies, Or when I saw them. I don't even think I saw Baba Duke when it was new. I think it was a while. <clears throat> okay. How do you get a gifted membership? You have to find a way to enable it, but I still to this day don't really understand the process of enabling it. We've had, we currently had over a thousand people with memberships, and I don't even think still people can explain it. It's such a weird way to do it. Um, let's see here. Scream, yes. I the Scream movies, I really like Scream One. To this day, I think Scream One is one of the most intelligent movies because it literally is meant to make fun of the horror movie cliches. So I think it's well done in that regard. At the time, you had never seen a movie like that that kind of almost broke the fourth wall like it did. Um, then, of course, the Scream movies just get worse and worse. Like, Scream 2 wasn't that good. Scream 3 was pretty bad. I think they made another one that sucked. And I think they recently made another one. 
that I never even bothered seeing. <laughs> you know, they go they go too far with this shit. Um, but yeah, I like the original screen for sure. Did I see the Prometheus movies? I saw Prometheus, and I thought it was creepy. But I wish that it had more direct answers. But it kind of explains what the what the without being an alien movie, it totally explains how the Xenomorphs exist. That it was these Prometheus dudes who were basically doing these scientific genetic experiments on aliens and was finding ways to mutate one race into another race and shit. You know what I mean? Like one species into another species by doing these crazy experiments with these symbiotes and things. So it makes sense that the Xenomorphs even exist. Maybe the Prometheans created the Xenomorphs, right? It's very possible. Um, but it wasn't a satisfying movie because there's no real ending to it. You know what I'm saying? Like, the movie ends, but there's no answers. So you're like, well, that sucked. I wish that there was answers to what I just saw. I thought that this was going to be like a prequel movie to Alien, and all it did was leave me with even more questions. So it's kind of like, maybe they shouldn't have made the movie because they didn't really answer enough. Now, there was another one, and if I remember correctly, wasn't that one... It had an android that went bad. Like, there was an evil android. And it was also trying to do, ex like, genetic experiments on different alien <coughs> species. But I can't remember what it was. I couldn't remember. I can't. I saw it once, and I think it was terrible. And I can't even remember the movie. Was it an alien movie? Was it Alien Covenant? Yeah, I saw it. I can't even remember it. I saw it. It was so bad. I don't remember ever, a single moment from it. <laughs> so it must not have been like Prometheus. I remember the Promethean alien chasing the humans and they're fighting, and then these, these mutations come out and it's fighting it. And it's kind of like, okay, I get it. This explains how the Xenomorphs came about. It was these aliens that actually made them, right? But then I watched Alien Covenant. I couldn't even tell you a single thing that happened in it. <laughs> I saw the whole movie. I got a tip. An anonymous tipper to me dollar says the one movie that scared me was hap the happening with the Wal Mark Wahlberg movie. How scary, bad, really bad, really he talks to trees. That's one of the worst movies ever made. That's not only one of the worst horror movies. It's literally one of the worst cinematic bomb things I've ever seen in my life. And I saw it too. I bought it because <clears throat> it was an M. Night Shyamalan movie. <clears throat> and at the time, Shyamalan was popular. Unlike a lot of people who didn't like the Shyamalan. Like, I actually liked... um. Signs. I thought Signs was a funny, fun, scary movie. I legitimately did. A lot of people didn't think that. They thought it sucked. I liked it. So after Signs, I was on board for his other stuff, and I fucking bought The Happening on DVD. And I was watching it, and I was like, what the fuck? How could you have a movie called The Happening, and in the movie, literally nothing happens? Nothing happens in that movie. It's just a bunch of people running away from plants and breezes. The effects budget must have been $3. <laughs> like, wow. <clears throat> They bought a fan and blew it against leaves. Oh, oh, terrifying. Oh, I'm spooky ooky. Oh, Jade says it and its sequel. He hates clowns. Or he's very scared by the modern it movies. I thought the, I only saw the first one. I did not see the second one. I only saw the first it movie. I thought it was all right. <clears throat> I, I think um the original it for when it came out, has a lot of cheesy moments and funny moments, but it's supposed to, but it also has some genuinely scary moments, right? I think that the modern It was meant to just have scary moments, and in that vein, it's more like a, a pure hardcore horror movie as opposed to It was originally a, a TV series, right? A miniseries. Um, and I don't dislike it. I don't dislike it. I just didn't love it. I think a lot of people loved It, the reboot, and I didn't really love it like a lot of people. I just thought it was okay. No, Derek, I did not see any movie called Terror Train. I've never heard of it. I don't know what that is. Did I like the Dream Warriors? Yes. I like the, the idea that a group of kids... Oh, wow, look at this. It's a big walleye. First walleye of the night, right? I liked the idea that a bunch of kids teamed up to fight Freddy and that they had superpowers in their dreams, like they were lucid dreaming. That was a really unique take on the whole situation. Because up to that point in the first, what was it, three movies? Two movies? I think they were, part four was Dream Warriors, right? Oh, Freddy had always had the upper hand. Always. Because whenever you're in the Dream World, that's it. It's all Freddy's advantage. But in that one, the kids actually had the ability to fight back, which is really neat. I like that about it. Well, 
What's the horror movie starring Jamie Lee Curtis? Uh, True Lies. Terrifying movie. Absolutely ast astonishingly scary. Arbuncle says, be honest, did you guess the ending to The Sixth Sense or did it shock you? It shocked me. I didn't. I had no clue what was going on. It 100% surprised me. <clears throat> yes, I've seen Sinister. The only scary part of Sinister is the lawnmower. That's it. That's the one thing in the movie that I said, oh shit, and I jumped. Outside of that, nothing else in the movie was scary to me at all. Striped bass. <laughs> Project Hail Mary says, I wish you weren't stopping Bassmaster. I love these chill streams. Again, we got one more next week. That's going to be the series finale. And then there's a possibility in the future I may do this again. If I decide to buy it, maybe it'll be at a discount at some point. <clears throat> or maybe if the new one comes out next year, we'll, we'll bring it back. I really did enjoy doing this as chill streams with you guys over the summer. And, of course, now we're a month in the fall. This has been really special. I've had a great time. Speaking of which, guys, we're at $136 in tips. We're so close to a vest. Can you believe earlier today on the Plague Tale stream, we were $131 for two and a half hours. And we didn't hit the final goal. Like, not a single tip came in after that. I couldn't believe it. I was like... So, we still have a half an hour left on the stream tonight. It would be great if we could hit that final goal and get a vest for the end of the stream. I'm not asking for anything. I'm just saying it sure would be great. That way, if we get it right away, I could put the poll up. You guys could start voting rather than waiting to the last minute and having issues. Okay? By the way, this is glitching. I can't reel this fish in. Look. The fish is, like, stuck out there and won't come in. I don't know what's going on. I can't, I'm really, look. Is it coming or what? <laughs> what is happening? The Conjuring, I like the Conjuring 1. The reason, the reason I like the Conjuring 1 is because it combined a few different plot lines that were quite interesting. Like you had the original plot line of the woman who apparently is possessed. Then you had the Annabelle plot line. You had the Warrens who kind of were their own plot line. I liked that. They had all these intersecting stories that made one really good overlapping story. Um, I don't even remember if I saw The Conjuring 2. Wait a minute. Was The Conjuring 2 the stupid one with the nun? If it is, that movie was terrible. In fact, yeah, I did see it. I remember now. It was terrible. Wasn't that the one they're in the bedroom and all the glass breaks in their face? And it's supposed to be scary. It's literally not scary at all. Come on. What the hell? I got it. What is it? Whoa! A oh, big boy. How much does it weigh? 34 pounds. The biggest we've ever done was 50-something. But at least we got a big one. We finally got a big fish. Look at that monster. Okay. No, I've never really seen any bug horror movies. I think the only one I ever saw was uh, Arachnophobia. I saw that one in theaters with my parents, and it creeped everybody out. The whole family was creeped out. <laughs> yeah, the big one is always a striped bass. That's right. Did I like The Descent? Yes and no. Because at first it's quite scary, but I feel like it kind of drags on too long, and then it has a fake ending that I hate. I hate the fake bullshit ending. And then it gives you the real ending. You're like, ah, that sucks. I don't want to have double endings. I never saw Eight-Legged Freaks. I guess the eight ball was right. I did ask the eight ball if we were going to get a giant fish tonight, and we did. It's just not the biggest one that we ever caught. Like I said, one was over 50 pounds. <clears throat> All right. This thing's going crazy. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Derek says, The next M. Light Shyamalan movie is 2023 called Knock at the Cabin. Dave Batista will be in it. It's a horror mystery. I hope it's good. Again, he's one of those guys. Sometimes he actually does a really good movie, and other times the movies suck ass. Um, <clears throat> When I stopped watching American Horror Story, I was watching the season that was simulated in 80 slasher flick. Remember, they were at a camp. All the camp counselors were getting killed by a supposed slasher. And there was a big twist of who the killer really was. And then the season got absolutely ruined. Because halfway through the season, the entire plot changed. There was a time lapse. And all of a sudden, everything changed. And I felt like it went 
from being very interesting up here to sucking major balls. And I didn't like the second half, and I never finished watching it. So that was the last one I saw. I'm sure that was like two, three years ago. Yes, I saw li Lights Out and It Follows. Lights Out didn't scare me at all. I don't think there was anything scary about the movie whatsoever. Um, but It Follows did scare me. As I said, that one actually creeped me out. <clears throat> did I see the Jackass films? The only one I saw was the first one. That was it. And it was a few la uh, laughs, but I don't love that kind of content. I think the prank, you know, stunt kind of content is really stupid. I agree. Derek says he liked that Mortal, the Mortal Kombat 9, so we're talking many games ago, had horror characters as DLC like Freddy and Jason. That was fun, I agree. And 10 had Predator and Robocop, or was Robocop 11? I think it was 10. I don't remember. <laughs> I can't remember. Don't breathe the blind guy? Never even heard of that one. There we go. Yes. Oh boy, you're going to have to do some measuring. Yes, I've seen the Saw movies, and just like all these other franchises that continue way too long, Saw 1 I really liked, Saw 2 was okay, Saw 3 was terrible, Saw 4 was atrocious, Saw 5 was abysmal, Saw 6 you might as well just smash fucking boards into your face until you pass out. It's more scary. <laughs> it's just, they just get worse and worse, you know? I didn't know, and I never saw that latest one, Spiral, or whatever the fuck it was. I never even saw that one. I didn't bother. I was like, nah, I don't care. Yes. Really? Mitch says the one with Chris Rock was the worst one yet. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Ugh. Jason, I'm a fan of Gotham Knights, but I miss, I miss Batman and Joker. I hear you. They were, they've been the protagonist and antagonist of the series for so long. The fact that they're not really in the game could be pretty uh, different, right? Jar. Oh, Jason was MK10. Oh, that's right. Freddy was MK9. Jason was MK10. That's right. Did I see any movies during the 3D movie fad? Um, I saw. When I bought my TV, it came with a 3D DVD player. So I saw that movie like Abe Lincoln versus the Vampires or some crazy shit like that. I saw that one. Um, and then I saw uh, the Silent Hill sequel in theaters in 3D. And I saw there was another one too. Rio. Rio 3D. That's right. So I saw like three or four 3D movies. They're all right. But they're really annoying to have to wear the glasses. Just being honest. Like, to have to wear the stupid glasses when you're wearing it, watching it. Like, I just want to relax. I don't have to put on fucking 10 accessories to watch this thing. And it's very stupid. So. Do I like the Resident Evil movies? No. I think the first one's alright. Because it does have a lot of ties to the game. Although it definitely has a lot of things that are different. It's like Alice just in general existing. Who's not even from the game. But every Resident Evil movie goes further and further from the games. And the further it goes, the worse it gets, in my opinion. I don't like them. A lot of people like them as an action series, as a standalone, not tied to Resident Evil. I say, that's fine. Don't call it Resident Evil, then. Call it anything else. Call it Alice. Why don't they just call it Alice? Right? If it was all supposed to be about Alice, this new character, why not just call it fucking Alice? Alice in Zombieland. Right? Call it fucking Alice in Zombieland. Why not? I, that's a better name. Here you go. You could have 14 of them, then. Right? Zombie Land after, you know? They could have done that. They never had to call them Resident Evil. They had nothing to do with it besides stealing some of the characters and shit from the IPs. That was it. Did I enjoy above so out so below? Nah. Equilibrium or The Matrix, which is my pick? The Matrix. Equilibrium is a fun little movie, but Matrix is better. Did I like the Child's Play movies? Eh. Child's Play, like Child's Play 1 and 2 were fun. But I, just again, as the franchises continue, they get too long and they take... You know what I mean? Like, it's going on too long. How many times are you going to blow up this fucking doll? It still comes back. Might as well not even try anymore, right? Here's what they should do. Okay, I can't kill Chucky. 
no matter what I do, this fucking doll's coming back. So here's what you do, all right? You knock him into cement, you put him in a block of fucking cement, you case him in a box, and you sink him to the bottom of the fucking Pacific Ocean. Bye. I don't care if you live forever. You're stuck at the bottom of the fucking ocean. I don't want to deal with your shit anymore. Fuck off. You'll never even find your way back to shore, fuckface. <laughs> That's how I would kill Chucky. Fuck him. Let him live under the sea forever. <clears throat> okay. How's it going, Jay Kuma? It's going pretty good. Thank you for asking. Having a good interactive stream here tonight. Ever seen the, the Wicker Man? Never seen any of the Wicker Man movies. No. Did I cry during the Pursuit of Happiness with Will Smith? I never saw the Pursuit of Happiness with Will Smith. I'm good, Mark. Thank you for asking. Good evening. Did I ever go to Chuck E. Cheese? Indeed, I did. I went to Chuck E. Cheese a few times as a kid. One standout moment I remember is playing the G.I. Joe shooting arcade game for the first time. Basically, you would play as a G.I. Joe standing in, like as a third person. You'd be behind them. They would be constantly running forward and shooting at things in the, uh, you know, in the, in the background as they attacked you. I never played a game like that before at the time. It was really unique. It was the first time I ever saw it was at Chuck E. Cheese. That's all I remember. I don't remember the animatronics. I don't remember the pizza. I remember the G.I. Joe game for some reason. Go figure. Did I ever see Hellraiser? Yes. I know I've seen it at least once or twice, but it wasn't really notable for me, so I don't remember much about it. What was the last movie I watched? Oh, God. What was the last movie I watched? Fuck, man. Uh... <laughs> I don't remember. It was probably something random off of Amazon Prime or something random off of, like, Hulu. I, I don't recall. I'm sure I could probably pr look at my watch history and try to figure it out. I, you know, neither here nor there. I don't know, man. I did not see the Nick Cage movie Mandy. I did not hear about a pizza conspiracy theory with Chuck E. Cheese. I thought I Am Legend was okay. I did not like the ending. I thought the ending sucked. And then come to find out it wasn't the real ending. The real ending of the movie is great. Which is stupid that they fucking ruin the ending. Because they thought they basically thought Americans were like pussies and couldn't take like a, an intelligent but dark ending, so they made it a happy ending, which is the opposite. Is that supposed to be a happy movie? They fucked it all up. Shit. There we go. Yes. Pretty big. Not as big as the other one though. This is like a twelve pounder. Fifteen pounder. Okay. I have seen Teen Wolf, yes. No, you cannot bum off my Hulu account. The Final Destination movies are absolutely terrible, but great at the same time. They're guilty pleasures of mine. Because I like how they keep tricking you into thinking something's going to happen and then it doesn't, and then something unexpected happens to kill someone. And you always got to wonder what's going to happen. If you haven't seen the movies before, it's really great to kind of like watch them and almost like check bets on, all right, how's this person going to die? Is it going to be the obvious? Is it going to be something completely weird? What's it going to be? And seeing those unique deaths is kind of neat, I agree. But their all movies also are terribly stupid. Like, there's nothing smart or interesting about them besides something dumb is going to happen that's, that dies, you know? <clears throat> what I like about Teen Wolf? Oh, the comedy. You know, the aspect that Michael J. Fox is a, is a fucking werewolf and then no one's afraid of him. Instead, he's like a, he becomes a super popular kid at school. He becomes like the mascot. Everyone loves him, right? That's kind of funny. And then you find out his dad is a wolf, and his dad's hilarious. He's just completely normal, completely covered in, in werewolf hair, but acts like a normal dude. Hey, hey, you found out you're a wolf, huh? That's funny to me. <laughs> like, Dad, could you fucking told me earlier? Seriously, why'd you make me just find out for myself? Why couldn't you just tell me we were werewolves? Dad. Okay. Shit. Here we are. Yeah, that's right. The original, the original ending of I Am Legend is the happy ending, where basically Will Smith realizes that the the vampire slash zombies—they're really vampires, but the game, the, the the movie makes you feel like they're zombies—are actually the new intelligent evolved life on Earth. And that they essentially should inherit the earth. And so he basically helps them 
and doesn't do anything bad to them. He lets them exist, right? I don't know if it's canon that he dies, but basically he's like, forget it. Even though we might have a cure, there doesn't need to be a cure. This is the new functional evolved life, and this is how the life on planet Earth should be. This is how everything goes. Things evolve, right? In the stupid canon theatrical ending, Will Smith kills all the vampires. He blows up everything. They all die. He dies. And then the people who he was helping during the movie have the cure and give it to survivors you've never seen before. And they all rejoice as they say, oh, we're going to go kill all the vampires with this cure. The end. It's the worst ending ever. It misses the whole fucking point of the movie. <laughs> yes, Terminator 2 is a great movie. Outstanding. Still holds up as one of the best action movies of all time. Even this this much for you know, 30 years later, still amazing. Okay. <clears throat> Did I ever see Upgrade? No, never heard of it. You guys are just asking about random movies tonight for some reason. Just literal random movie questions, huh? All right, guys, we've got about 15 minutes left on the stream, just so you know, 15, 20 minutes, okay? Yes, I remember the movie The Fifth Element. It's a good movie. It's all over the place and chaotic as shit, but it's... it's the Fifth Element is the perfect example of a popcorn summer movie. You don't have to think too hard. You don't have to care so much. All you have to do is sit back and enjoy this zany ride of effects and funny one-liners and action, and you'll absolutely love the movie. <clears throat> Mad Max Fury Road I thought was okay. I didn't love it. I didn't hate it. I thought it was all right. Uh, I don't know if I ever saw District 9. It rings a bell, but I don't know if I ever saw it. Jay says he loves the Walking Dead Telltale movie. You mean the game? You mean the game? That That's like a choose-your-own-adventure movie. I, too, love that. Yes. Apollo? Which one? There's been multiple Apollo movies. The original was Apollo 13, but didn't they do another one that was a horror spinoff? I'm pretty sure I saw that one, too. <clears throat> So many fish over there. Oh, what happened? I don't know what happened there. Okay. Sicario? That doesn't ring a bell. No, I don't know what that is. Well, we got a heartbeat, which is going to be a big fish or a special fish. There's another Team Wolf movie being made. I don't need to know about that. I don't want to know about it. <laughs> Darth Goldbox says he got to meet the voice of Clem um, when everyone thought season four would be canceled and she was a super nice person. You'd assume probably most voice actors are. I don't know why I would assume that, but I just do. I like to give everyone the benefit of the doubt and believe that everyone's a nice person at face value, and it's just life circumstances that make them miserable shitheads when they do become that way. <laughs> there you go. <clears throat> but I'm probably wrong. Um, let's see, I got a tip. Dollar fifty tip came in from Shin Black. Just tell me you watched Young Frankenstein by Mel Brooks. Of course I have. I love Mel Brooks movies. I own, at one point I owned the whole Mel Brooks collection, um, all his classics like Blazing Saddles, um, Young Frankenstein, um, History of the World Part One, um, Spaceballs, Robin Hood Men in Tights, all great. Oh, uh, High Anxiety. Which is a comedy based off of a lot of thriller movies like Hitchcock. That's a really funny movie that almost no people have seen. <laughs> High anxiety. Do I have plans to watch the Dune remake? Yeah. I saw the original Dune. I thought it was boring as dirt. Never watched it a second time. So when the remake was announced and, and made, I didn't... Oh my god, it's the smallest fish I've ever seen. That is the smallest fish ever. I caught... The sunnies I used to catch with my dad were bigger than this. That thing is insanely small. <laughs> what 
Was Cloverfield scary? Eh. There were some scary moments, but it wasn't overall too scary to me. I thought it was more just cool to have a modern monster movie like that because they just don't make modern monster movies like that, right? So it was rare to have one. I thought it was something special. Twenty-eight days later is scary. Here's the thing: twenty-eight days later, all right, is a zombie movie that, when it came out, was revolutionary because it changed the whole notion of movie zombies. Up to that point, you thought that the typical movie zombie was slow, a slow-moving, shambling zombie. And yes, you could die, but it's usually when you're overcome by a bunch of them who kind of, you know, block you off from escape and then they eat you. Twenty-eight days later, it was like, oh yeah, these are rage beasts. That just fucking run full speed at you, full of adrenaline, and they're like insanely deadly. So it changed the whole idea of what a zombie was. I think a lot of people liked that and found it more scary. Trembling with that toe. I wasn't listening to what he said. Trembling with that toe. Have I seen the fog? Uh, you think so? Was the fog the one where they're all trapped inside of a grocery store, and the fog's outside and it brings a bunch of creatures that's murdering everyone outside and it has a really fucked up ending? If that's the fog, then yes, I've seen it. No, that's the mist. Oh, then what's the fog? I saw... <laughs> oh, I saw the mist, not the fog. Shit, I saw the wrong movie. Oh, I saw the stinky fart. Oh, I saw the gas. Oh, I saw the smoke. <laughs> Darn, I got them confused. Oh. <clears throat> The fog is good. I don't know if I've ever seen the fog then. What? The fog is where dudes bang at a lighthouse. That's what you remember from this movie. <laughs> That's what you remember from the movie. Really? What the fr- <laughs> What are you talking about? That is what you remember from the movie. Wow. That's like saying, short circuit is that one where that military guy talks about his red ass. Oh, that's what the movie's about. <laughs> that's the focus. Oh, I see. <laughs> Great one. Great synopsis. You should write cliff notes for books. I can't. <laughs> oh, my God. <clears throat> Wow, Mel Brooks is 96 and still hanging in there. That's crazy, man. Okay. There we go. Christian says, if I ever get Disney Plus, I should check out Werewolf by Night. It was good. I have no idea what that is. Oh, boy. You're going to need to measure that one. World War Z with Brad Pitt was awesome. Yeah, I thought it was okay. You know, they tried to basically turn zombies into almost like a summer action flick. It was kind of weird. I thought it was all right. I didn't love it. A lot of people absolutely hate it. I thought it was all right. Fuck. Uh, uh, uh. Wow, that was a really disgusting belch. And the moon is out fully. Look at that. Nice full moon there. All right, Derek. Have a good night. I'll see you for Disney on Wednesday night. Sounds good, right? Oh, wait. Here's a Tuesday night we're doing it. I thought we are doing a Disney Dreamlight on Tuesday. Because let me think about this. Tomorrow we're doing... Let me, let me try to make sure I have I have the schedule in hand. Tomorrow is Gotham Knights on the first stream, and we're doing a Plague Tale Requiem on the late stream. Right? So then, Tuesday is going to be a Plague Tale Requiem on the first stream, and Disney Dreamlight on the late stream. And then Wednesday, again, is going to be Gotham Knights and Plague Tale. So yeah, Disney Dreamlight is Tuesday night there. Don't, don't miss it. Alright? Because you said Wednesday. It's going to be Tuesday. Okay? Good night, Willow. Guys, absolutely last chance if anyone wants to contribute in any way. We did hit the bubble goal, which I didn't realize. You guys didn't say anything. So I'll blow you guys some bubbles. Um, But, again, we the same thing just happened. That happened on the first stream. On the first stream, we had $131 for the entire stream and never hit the goal. For this stream, we had 137 and we didn't hit the goal. I mean, it's fine. It's not a huge deal. It's really not. I'm just saying it's weird that it happened twice today. That's really odd. I do appreciate your support tonight, guys. What happened? Oh, it swam away. 
There we go. Yes. Greeting Vietnamese comrade. All right. Um, bubbles. Bubbles. All right, Derek. I'll see you Tuesday then. I'm glad I told you. Ah! The bubbles got chunky. Did you see that? That didn't look right. Let's try that again. There we go. I think we're running low. Yeah, we are. We are running very low on bubbles. I'm finally, after all these years, how many years have I been blowing bubbles? Didn't I start it with Fall Guys like two and a half years ago? I'm finally going to have to get a new bubbles because it's all the way down to the bottom, almost empty. So I'm going to have to get it. I have more downstairs. I'm just going to have to get them. They're in the closet. Okay. All right. Last few casts, everybody. Last few casts. Here we go. size of that thing ridiculously small at least we caught some good ones tonight right we caught some pretty big ones pretty nice we caught that really big crappie right the really giant one that we never had that size before have a good night christian see you tomorrow sounds good this is the magic lure it just is this lure every fish bites instantly when it sees it i haven't like right have we ever caught cast it into fish and not get not got a bite i don't think so What's my favorite type of fish to eat? Oh, man. Currently, I think it's salmon. I actually really like salmon. They're so unique. The problem is they're kind of pricey. But I really do like salmon different ways. I've had it many different ways. I've had it, like, uh, blackened. I've had it, uh, like, like uh, cooked with, like, a glaze. Um, I've had it in a chipotle breading. I've had salmon a lot of different ways. I like it. It's delicious. I've had teriyaki salmon. I like it that way, too. I've never gone deep sea fishing, Jay Kuma. No. I've only gone... Freshwater fishing many, many times with my dad at a lake in Connecticut called Lake Lulanoa. And then once I went saltwater fishing and that was it. And that was just on like a pier. Yes. Fish. Fishy, fishy in my hand. Now you'll start a fishy band. What? I don't know. I couldn't think of anything to rhyme. Last few questions, guys. Anyone have questions for me? Yes, Overpower Boon. I already said I'm open to playing the sequel next year. I'd consider it. I would hope that next year it's better with less glitches. Um, no Cthulhu monsters. No ghost fish. That would be preferred. But I am open to it. And, of course, if the next one is on Game Pass, then absolutely yes. Yes. Is Play Terrible 60 bucks or should you wait for a sale? I can't answer that, Darth Galbach. I'm only eight, nine hours in. People are saying it could be upwards of 20 hours long, um, which sounds pretty darn good for the game, for what it is. Uh, all I can tell you is, here's what I like. The graphics, the story, the gameplay, and the voice acting. However, today there was a few shortcomings. Um, a couple areas, the puzzles are a little a little weird because... Well, not puzzles. Let me put it this way. This, this one... It's a little different than the first one, okay? You have three ways that you can do anything. Stealth, aggressive combat, or using your alchemy, which would mean like your your explosive, explosives, um, the things that will lure or deter the rats. Um, so depending on how you get through a situation, you will automatically level up in that category. So if you go through an entire room undetected stealthy, you get massive stealth points. And the more that you do things in certain ways... Um, allows you to gain new abilities that accentuate those things. So, for example, if you do a bunch of things stealthily, all of a sudden your footsteps are lighter and no one can hear you. See? Um, <clears throat> but today, I found out a big shortcoming of the game. So, if you're in a room and you, you know, get through most of it, maybe you're near the very end of the room and you just want it over with, and all of a sudden you get detected. Now, there's no one near you, but you go for the door and you go to open it, the game automatically spawns and teleports enemies to you and says oh well you see because you didn't kill everyone and also because you were detected when you tried to go through that door you now have to find a way to fend off these one or two enemies quickly before you can go through the door 
It's like, yeah, but they weren't there. I literally just was rushing through this room. There was no one in the room with me besides two people after me, but they were way on the other side. This was a straight shot to the door. I'm at the door. There's no one there. Go to open it. Arrows start hitting the door. Oh, you can't, you can't leave yet. You turn around. There's someone right in your face. You're like, now what the hell is that? And that happened to me not once, two times today. That was very frustrating to me because I felt like that was a completely unrealistic. It broke the immersion of the game, and it felt like a pretty cheap gameplay mechanic. Um, I did not like that. Okay, the other thing was I was finding a boss, an actual boss who had like a, you know, you had a puzzle to solve to beat him. And so I'm doing it, and I, 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 I basically, I don't want to spoil the boss, but I hit him with what should kill him, and instead of him having a death animation like he was supposed to have, he disappeared from the game, and you heard his death cry. It skipped the, the animation where he was supposed to die, like there was supposed to be an animation played out showing him die. It skipped it and went to the next cutscene. So it was like, oh, big dramatic boss fight. He just goes, bloop, he's blinked from the game. And now next thing you know, you're on to the next scene. Like, what the fuck happened there? So there's a few weird things. The further I get into the game, I'm noticing. What you got to understand is that Plague Tale Requiem is a double-A game, not a triple-A game. Even though a lot of the times you'll get fooled into thinking it's a triple-A game. It's definitely not. They don't have that kind of budget. But <clears throat> it's fun. I still really am liking the game. I'm three days in. You know, playing it more tomorrow night. I'm excited for more. Uh, got a tip here. Another dollar tip says, will you play this if I buy it for you? Right now, no, there's no way. Right now, I'm going to be so busy with new releases starting this coming Friday. I'm not going to have enough time to even juggle the new releases. So then, no, I'm not going to be playing this. Even if I owned it outright, <clears throat> I probably would still uh, be putting this on hiatus uh, starting this week. Well, next week. But... You know, long term, like for example, once we get through all these new releases from November, December, and things start to slow down, then what the? Did you see that? Then, if you wanted to contact me and start talking about maybe buying the game and getting it back in the rotation, then we can talk. But for now, it would not make any sense. The poll for the Halloween game still is not live, Forgotten Chill. I know. People are mad at me. They're like, why is this poll not live when Halloween is in a week? I, I, I still haven't had a chance to do the poll. I'm really, I promise you, I'm going to try to uh, to do the poll tomorrow. I'll do my best. What I'll do is I'll eat dinner. I'll try to finish up, grab a coffee, and rush up here, and hopefully before the second stream, have some time to go through your nominations, start counting them, and hopefully make the poll. All right? And I apologize again. It's just things have been so crazy and busy for me. I just haven't had a chance. Keep in mind, you know, it took me over two weeks to film the patron videos this month because everything's been so nuts. All my time's used up, you know? <clears throat> That's a unique crappie. I don't think we've seen that color before. Yeah, it's a black crappie, but I don't think we've seen that color before. All right. Last cast of the night right now. Here we go. The last cast of the night, and then we got one more session next week. We'll see how it goes. So I did find the striped bass here, but we didn't find any giant ones. We might want to um, next week come back here and try to find that area where those giant fish were last time because I don't recall. Oh, this is a tough one. We got a heartbeat, meaning it's going to be a unique one I don't have yet. And he is fighting pretty effectively. I don't know how big this fish is. Nah, it doesn't look that big. Nah, it's not that big of a fish. Just a, it's just a fighter. Yeah, there we go. Oh, shit. I blew it. There we go. Yes. All right. Oh, that's a beautiful one. I like the coloration on that one. Nice. It's Chubasa. We got the Chubasa, and Derek missed it because Derek left early. He missed it. He friggin' missed it. He wanted that all night. He kept talking about the Chubasa quote, and he missed it. So what happens when you leave early? You can't dip out early. You got to be here to the last second. <laughs> All right, guys. That's going to be it for this week. Let's see our final tally, shall we? Let's see our final tally here. I know we didn't do nearly as many. We did 89. We caught 89? Dude, it totally didn't seem like we caught 89 fish tonight. I didn't think that we caught that many. We went up, what, three levels? Gained 3,000 new fans. Got a bunch of new currency. 
It was our striped 34-pounder striped bass was the biggest one that we caught. Yep. Here's what we caught tonight. It did not feel like we caught 89 fish. It really didn't. Last week, we did over 100. It didn't feel like that many. I don't know. I guess we did. I guess we did catch that many. I was so caught up talking to you guys that I kind of lost track of everything we were doing. Yeah, look. We caught a ton. Oh, my God. Wow. We caught so many. I wasn't even paying attention. Shout out to Jay Kuma, who just did a very large super chat. 1999. Thank you, Jay Kuma, for the super chat and the channel support. I really appreciate that. All right. Um, guys, thank you for yet another chill stream of Bassmaster. Reminder, next week, same time, same place, the finale of Bassmaster. There's the animation for Jay Kuma, by the way. The finale of Bassmaster is next week. All right. So I hope you will come back next week, Sunday night, for the final fishing fun. And I want to say thank you all for being a nice, chill audience. Thank you for all the support tonight. It was very good. Um, no complaints. It was nice, chill weather because now it's it's uh, fall here. So it was perfect weather in the office here to fish with you guys. And we added a new lure, which means one more week, one more opportunity for new lures. And then they will stay on there permanently when this hat gets picked for other streams. All right? All right. That is it, guys. Thank you so much. Until next week. Peace out.